Hey guys, welcome to this video. Last video was all about Nirvan's mountain bike, which is a big hit looking at all the views that it's getting. Uh, this video is all about my bike. This is an alloy beginner's road bike with Shimano class group set. And I'm just going to give you specs all about the bike, things I've changed, things I haven't changed, and the pros and cons. So let's get right into the bike and let's go to the front to start things off. Shimano Claris, beginner level road bike group set, very good for its price and very good for what it's made for, right? It's an 8 speed cassette on the back we've got and a 2 in the front. So a 2, two by chainring in the front, 8 speed cassette in the back, along with these shifters that Shimano have done a really good job of making. This is a dual integrated shifter, so we have this, this, as well as the brake integrated into one shifter. Same with that. This is for the rear derailleur and the rear mech. The left is for the front mech and the front chain rings. And Shimano have done a really good job with making this a group set that is easy to fix. I had jammed a cable in the shifter a few weeks ago and it was fixed within 45 minutes just because of Shimano's technology that makes it really easy to take the hoods off and open this up and fix it within half an hour to 45 minutes not a problem with that at all so that's the shifters right and let's go to the front a bit at the front we have a pair of tectro brakes so the rear brake and the front brake are both caliper brakes made by tectro responsive enough easy to clean brake pads need changing because i've used this bike for over a year now so those will need changing soon but Tektro have also done a pretty good job in making their uh, caliper brakes easy to fix, easy to use, not a problem with the wiring either. And yeah, talking about wiring, loads of wires going up and down here through the handlebars. Hero have done a really good job with cabling this wire through the uh, bar tape in a really easy fashion. Except when the bike came, I didn't really like how this looked, so I zip tied it taped it up, made it look a bit better. If we move a bit here, as you can see the wires going through the frame, right? Here I've also done a good job with making this as internally cable routed as possible. So we have it going through there and out through that side. With the other wires, we have them running down the down tube, uh, headed towards the front mech, as well as the rear mech, as you can see this wire running through right there. And yeah. Not a problem with that, Shimano and Tektro and Hero have done a really good job with making this front part of the bike really easy, fix fixable and a really easy and comfortable ride for the rider. Uh, let's get into the stem for a second and everything that there has to be for a stem. The stem that came with the bike was a 120 stem which is really long for me being Firstly short and secondly this bike frame being two sizes too big. I'm a 50, this is a 53 or a 54, three or four sizes too big actually. And so a change I had to make was the stem. That's my finger, this is the stem. It is really short as you can see written up there. Let's see if it focuses, camera please focus. Yeah, right there. This is a mountain bike stem very short not made for a road bike made of alloy as well makes the bike a bit heavier but with this bike i did not worry about weight at all so chucked a mountain bike stem on there slammed it completely as you can see here nirvan said don't slam on a mountain bike because it's not needed if you're a road cyclist and you want a really aggressive front end then you would have to slam this and I have a pretty aggressive front end as you can see my handlebars are pointing this way as well as it's fully slammed on the stem so that's that for the front end of the bike and let's head to the back where all the components are and let's talk about that for a bit so on the back we have the rest of the Shimano class group set that being the cassette, rear mech, derailleur, hanger front mac and yeah that's about it for the Shimano part of this bike so let's talk about the 
chainring in the front and the front mech. This chainring is made by a brand called Pro Wheel. It's the Ape model. It is a decent crank set, I would say. It's not the best. It's not a Shimano. It's not a rotor. It's none of that. It's an easy alloy plastic crank set. Hasn't broken till now, so it's pretty strong as well. This is a 5034 chain ring, right? So that's 34 on the small and 50 on the big. It is a decent gear ratio as well. Nothing too fancy, no complaints about it either. I guess you can change that out if you're gonna change your uh, chain rings to a Shimano or a rotor or something else. But for now, I don't see a problem with it and I'm sticking with it for a while. Uh, in terms of pedals, I have Look Kio 3, Look Kio Classic 3 pedals on there. Not ceramic pedals, but they do spin like one, right? So as you can hear, let me just spin it really well. That is just the spindle inside just making sounds, but other than that, it is a good pedal as you can see it is a wide base pedal and works only with look Kio cleats which come with the pedal in the box so you can't be using Shimano SPD uh, SL or whatever those pedals are by Shimano with this cle uh, pedal it will not work so you need look Kio cleats for this pedal for it to work look have done a really good job with making this a really easy fixable pedal as well as you can see the springs in the back you can increase and decrease the tension with this little allen thing right here i haven't touched it since i've gotten it so it's still at the settings which look i've done when they were packaging the pedal so i haven't touched it at all but look pedal highly suggested they make a carbon model which nirvan will show you oops that's a surprise but nirvan you have to show them your carbon pedals when you make the video about your bike right but those are the pedals on my bike not an issue with them if you're looking for an easy pedal look i've done a really good job with it in terms of the front mech we have again class front mech not a problem with that either only downside is right there dirt builds up inside there but every time you wash your bike just use a toothbrush or a paintbrush clean it off really well it will be working as brand new again and yeah not a problem with that sorry for the crows in the background it is evening time so they're making loads of sound in the back we have a 1132 tooth cassette so that's 11 small 32 in the big i would say firstly it being a eight speed it's not built for climbing i still climb with it on climbs which are above six percent or eight percent i do run out of gears but it's not an issue at all it just builds your cadence just builds your speed and makes you a stronger cyclist so not a problem with that on the back so that's the rear right that's my class cassette pulley wheels are all shimano based so everything is shimano on the back easy to clean easy not a problem haven't had a problem with it the chain that came with the bike was a shimano chain i have changed it to a kmc eight speed chain kmc is a really good brand that make really fancy chains but i just wanted a good chain that would last a long time so kmc have been the chosen chain for my bike and i haven't had a problem with it at all that's the shimano group set on my bike that is the components on my bike that is what makes my bike running so let's get into the wheels let's get into the hubs and sensors that i have on the back we have a Shimano based hub. So this is a Shimano 8 speed hub. Did not come with a bike. I had to change it when I got the bike because the hub that came with the bike, first monsoon, fully rusted, bearings gone. Anyway, this hub, very good, sturdy hub, not too loud. Again, Nirvan, please show them what a loud hub sounds like. And it's, it's nothing too fancy. It does its job pretty well. Not much grease needed either. Perfect, Shimano have done a really good job with this. That sensor right there is a Magini speed and cadence sensor. So Magini made a really cool piece of technology that works both as a speed and a cadence sensor. I just have to press a few buttons on my phone and it will be switched to a cadence sensor which can then go on my left crank. 
and yeah i use it as a speed sensor i will hopefully get the cadence sensor soon it's not too expensive either so that's my sensor on the back in terms of wheels both the wheels on this bike are exactly the same including the tires the wheels are pretty basic wheel which came with the bike and they are pretty heavy as well which probably add to the weight but i'm not going to complain about them they have done pretty well until now maybe a few broken spokes which i do have here as well right as you can see broken spoke have to get that changed but that in terms of wheels that's that not a problem with them tires are probably Victoria 28C really old tires which I had have never used but a year ago switched to 28s and those are the tires that I have chosen on my bike haven't had a puncture in them till now so I'm sticking with them for a while here we have my Sigma speed sensor so all of these metrics can be seen on it it is very nice small compact I can remove it like a Garmin has the same kind of mount connects via magnet into this so clips in like that connects via that no wires nothing to this sensor here which is on my fork right you can see my fork sensor zip ties which is then in contact with this so this and this speak send the data here for me to see pretty easily so that's that and that's it's my computer and my sensors there in terms of seat, I've got a Scott Syncross FL 2.5 seat. As you can see, it's decently long, but the reason why I got that is because of the rails, right? As I said, bike is four sizes too big, have to push, push this all the way in the front. So I fit on the bike, so I don't have an issue with stretching out, which I used to have. So that's that. Along with that, I have a Beatwin Decathlon Easy saddle Saddlebag. Uh, inside there, I probably have... I'm not going to open it up one handed, it's a bit tough. Extra inner tube, my wallet, a multi tool, nothing too fancy, have all of that in there. Uh, in terms of bottle cages, have Zephyr bottle cages. I think they're called Zephyr, but they're metal bottle cages, they don't break that easily, and I really enjoy them because they're pretty easily accessible as well. Bottles, specialized bottles, I got them from someone, so that's that uh and yeah so that's my bike that is the full thing together this is how i ride it thank you guys for watching this video all about my bike it was fun making it just going through all the specs everything about the bike i hope you enjoyed it i hope you look to purchasing this bike if you're getting into road cycling it's not very expensive easy to get online with the link in the description and yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe like and comment and nirvan over to you and the next video